formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico, where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure these sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives Gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee. And it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press. All the while enjoying a truly great tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record, reports documented, a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base, nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield nascent iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield nascent iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Alex Jones here with a message to fellow freedom lovers. The prognosis for the entire planetary economic system runs from bad to worse. The globalist model is to shut down societies and starve patriots out until they acquiesce to the global takeover. That's why we've assembled the most vital and important preparedness items at InfoWarsShop.com. These are items that I did research on, that I personally use. You've got the life straw, so you can turn fetid water into safe water anywhere you go. The KTOR hand crank generator to charge up key equipment during power outages or out in the field. Strategic relocation, third edition by Joel Skousen. When disaster strikes by Matthew Stein. Therosafe used by Homeland Security to protect yourself during any radiological event. Hand crank shortwave AM FM radios. Everything that we've researched and found to be the best is available at InfoWarsShop.com and your purchase makes our InfoWar possible. We're getting prepared. Are you? InfoWarsShop.com Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Let's make this a year of action. That's what most Americans want. Raising the debt ceiling does not increase our debt. Nobody is listening to your telephone calls. The debate is settled. Climate change is a fact. And if people can't trust not only the executive branch, but also don't trust Congress and don't trust federal judges, then we're going to have some problems here. What difference at this point does it make? That's right. Everything's fine. Everything is cool. Everything is cool. are on tonight. Don't worry about the Russian troops pouring into Ukraine. Don't worry about George Soros going in there and stirring it all up and kicking out the elected president with a bunch of armed thugs. Don't worry about the leadership being neo-Nazis that actually wear giant swastikas. No, no, there's been big storms in California, folks, and it might mess up the Oscars. I mean, oh my gosh, I'm going to run home tonight and I'm going to sit there and watch those movie stars and just get so into it. 
Because everything is awesome, everything's cool when you're part of a team. Doesn't matter if your health care doubles. Doesn't matter if you can't get the brain tumor removed and you die. Because everything is awesome. I'm part of the Obama cult. That is, of course, the Lego theme song the Lego movie, which is an excellent, I think, libertarian film. It got attacked by some neocons as being anti-corporate. It wasn't anti-corporate. It was anti-Agenda 21 non-liberty. I think it had a very positive message. Let me just recap the big top story and then segue into everything else here as the dam breaks out of the top story 35 minutes into worldwide transmission on this live Sunday edition. Ukraine mobilizes after Putin's declaration of war. That's Reuters. And they're calling it a declaration of war that they took a tiny peninsula area and a military base that they already had. So there you go. And I'm not defending Russia. I'm just saying the media is totally spinning this and talking about sanctions on Russia and NATO troops going in. Yeah, that's a wonderful idea when the West just fomented an overthrow of a government over there. I mean, it, it's just, it's not good. I mean, it'd be one thing if they overthrew it to replace it. With a republic and people being able to own guns and liberty, you could at least argue it was moral. They're putting in an EU George Soros kleptocracy where the EU sucks the country dry. You know, if I had a choice between George Soros and Putin, I might take Putin. I mean, I've just about had enough of George Soros who runs media organizations sworn to shut me down, who write lies about me every week. I'm not under attack by Vladimir Putin. I'm under attack by George Soros who finances anti-free speech stuff in Congress. I mean, he's a guy over here squatting on America with Cloward and Piven and get you on welfare. And he's a huge recipient along with Warren Buffett of government bailouts. It, you know, that's who's in my life, not Vladimir Putin. Listen, Vladimir Putin gets in my life, he can go to hell. Never been to Russia. I don't have any, one drop of Slavic blood, nothing against those people, like their music, their culture. But here's the deal. I'm an American and I got George Soros on my back, not Vladimir Putin. Understand? I see a Russian around here telling me what to do. I'll kick their ass. But I'm here to tell you, folks, I haven't seen one Russian going around telling me what to do. You understand that? And I mean that figuratively. Politically in the info war, I will stomp them into the ground. Russia attacks any interest. I'll call for war with them. I'll call for limited war to push them out of that area, not nuclear. And then we'd have the moral high ground and Russia might have a war with us that was just conventional. But you move into their homeland, their border, you move into the Crimea that's generally been with Russia throughout history, you are opening the door for them to launch nuclear attacks, folks. And then there goes your Oscars tonight, ladies and gentlemen, and worshiping LeBron James, okay? So that's what's going on, a giant crisis, and it could be orchestrated behind the scenes between the globalists and Putin, for all I know. So much stuff is rigged, I don't know, okay? I'm not romanticizing any side of this. This is a serious situation. Meanwhile, the... Uh, neocon Trotskyites here in the U.S., that's who funded and founded the neocons. They had neocons last week claiming I'm some type of communist when I'm a total libertarian on record. Von Mies Institute type person. And then meanwhile, the neocons were founded by the Trotskyites, by Trotsky who ran to the U.S. and then Mexico and got killed in Mexico by a Stalinist. So they created the fake conservative movement to take over conservatism and kill opposition. I love them criticizing me when they've got their sock puppet uh, Al-Qaeda running roughshod over the Russians. Right sector calls on Russia's bin Laden to fight in Ukraine. Doku Umarov, leader of the Islamic Caucasus Emirate, an Al-Qaeda affiliate in the Caucasus, has now put out a videotape. And uh, the right sector, the ultra-nationalist street fighting group that targeted police prior to the coup in Ukraine with firearms, shooting police that weren't doing anything to them. That's very freedom fighter. It's just to shoot cops that aren't doing anything to you. Uh, I mean that as sarcasm, folks. I don't call for that. I'm saying that's bad. Has called Doku Umarov to fight in a war against Russia. Yay, let's have Al-Qaeda attack the Russians. They're freedom fighters. I'm going to vomit here in a minute. I'm going to totally vomit. Here's another one. Officers of the 76th Russian Shock Troops Division operating in Ukraine. That was Zero Hedge reporting it before Reuters. As usual, the alternative media is the real media, breaking everything. 
Nine times out of ten, the alternative media is accurate and the mainstream is not, I'm telling you. We are not the alternative. We are now the dominant media. We have bigger audiences. Everything. And our budgets are getting as big as the establishment because the establishment bankers won't even put money behind MSNBC and CNN anymore because they don't even have the audiences of a local radio show. So they really are the mouse that couldn't roar. So that's just some of the news. Uh, Ukraine crisis, Moscow catches the world off guard. London Independent, that's run by a former Russian oligarch, I should just add for you. Um, Rogers says Putin running circles around the U.S. Already basically got into that article. Ukraine, Putin's Crimea aim is to make the West look weak. The real purpose of Russian troops in Ukraine is to undermine the credibility of NATO. No London Telegraph that's anti-Russian historically the NATO is running up against the Russian border, and the Russians actually look weak, so they've basically just secured their military bases on their border that they already had in Ukraine. And I hope they're restrained, and, and this doesn't turn into nuclear war. To which the neocons respond, I'm a Russian sympathizer. I'm not a sympathizer with um, Assad over in, over in Syria. I just don't want to fund al-Qaeda to go in there and blow the whole place up and blow up 200 churches plus or whatever it was, it's 500 total estimated uh, in uh, Syria and murder everybody. I mean, I'm just not, I'm not for Al-Qaeda. And, and, and I apologize that I'm not for Al-Qaeda. I know that's not trendy. I know that's seen as extreme. But, you know, as Rand Paul and other extremists said, you know, we shouldn't be providing, or Ted Cruz said the same thing, an Air Force for Al-Qaeda. And that's, he also, Ted Cruz, said that Obamacare would double your premiums, and it did. But he's a bad guy for telling the truth. So I apologize for that as well. I apologize for telling you Obamacare was a giant screw job, even though it is. So there, I'm, I'm being trendy now. Uh, Ukraine crisis test Obama's foreign policy focus on diplomacy over military force. That's out of the Washington Post. Russia moves to deploy troops in Ukraine. That's the Wall Street Journal reporting days after it happened. They could just show local news reporting, and that's what we do. And see, but see, media in the West will never show what foreign media shows, because it's all about how they're in control. So they only tell you days after when, when they can put it out themselves. Now, we've, we've, we've talked a lot about this big story. There's a bunch of other ones. Let me mention these that are coming up in the next segment. Sub-zero temperature days reaching record levels in the Midwest, killing people, causing power outages, unprecedented cold, maybe the coldest winter in 100 years, top meteorologists and meteorologist historians are saying. Billings reaches previous February snow record, 14.4 inches. Great Lakes approaches 100% ice cover for the first time on record in 300 years of recorded known history of the Great Lakes. That's from NOAA. That's the federal government. Uh, this is global warming, ladies and gentlemen. We didn't pay the money to Al Gore, so he said we'd all have melted ice caps by 2013. Of course, they got bigger than ever. That's going on. Separate is blamed for China knife attack. Kill 33. Well, it's the knives' fault. Ban knives. They came out and did it. Ban guns, too. Uh, Somalian leaders want female genitals cut. We're going to cover all this, but this is not the important news. I've got all the Hollywood news, all the Oscar news that really matters, and the football news coming up. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with the new Pro One filters today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. Why does the United States spend the largest percentage of GDP in the world on health care? Why do we have the highest cancer rates on the planet? The highest rates of diabetes, autism, and every other major disease. It all comes down to one thing. We are what we eat. Our food is devoid of nutrition and processed with poisons and additives. Our water is filled with toxic poisons and big pharma runoff. All of this has been engineered by design. We can turn the tide against 
against the eugenicist by giving ourselves the nutrients our body desperately needs. To learn more, visit InfoWarsHealth.com. The site is literally packed with audio and video featuring top health professionals who don't bow down to Big Pharma. The fight against the New World Order starts with you, and you can't stand against the machine of your sick, tired, and open.